Right, I'm in a place called Foot Meadow. There's a big bridge, there were several arches. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, at least eight that I can see. There's probably more. And eight, oh, I don't know anything about the history of the bridge. I've got a few things to go and sort out. The um, Castle Mound, I've got to go and see. There's a, apparently a new, newish carved figure of a knight. Um, some plaques. While the rain's holding off, I can get some of this sort of done. Northampton Station's just over the bridge. And I had that on my map. When I um, was first, first looking about it, I had that marked. And that gives you a good reference point if you know where the station is. Just keep heading back to that. You can't get lost. You can get lost in a car. I did go around in circles earlier. <laughs> oh my goodness. I prefer to walk everywhere. I'm just having a little look here because it's all part of the history. It's easy to miss things. Short video. Just had to change cameras over. Charging the other one up. I've done a lot of videoing today. Bit, no, it's busy. I've taken lots of photos. So I'm going, this is called Foot Meadow. It does go a long way either way. There's no time to explore it today. I'm just making a note of it for another time because I'm hoping still one day to get inside these two churches dedicated to Simon St. Liz. Um, one of the founders of Northampton at the castle. He built the castle. Um, I'm going off to see the castle mound. Someone said, don't be disappointed. They said it's literally a mound by the railway station. But somebody has carved a nice night, wooden knight somewhere around, just, by, just over the bridge. See, if I've been living more local, like I've got to drive all the way back to St. Neots tonight. Um, that's why I, I put more than five hours. I put a whole day on the car parking. Um, it's well worth it, but it would have been even better if I could have got in the church. I mean, you know, I'm very disappointed, seeing as they did say it would be open between two and four, and I made an effort. I changed all my plans, so I'm very disappointed with that, and I shall let them know in writing and on their website when I get home. I'm very disappointed. I know you can't just open it for one person, but the thing is, it shouldn't be shut. If, they're say, if they say they're going to be open, it should be open. Right, we're going back up over the bridge now. I've got to try and cross this road. I might use the facilities at the railway station, actually. So we found out bits and pieces of history anyway. I found out more about Simon St. Liz. The other very disappointing thing was the museum was shut. The museum was supposed to be excellent with lots about Simon St. Liz in it. The Guild Hall was closed because they had a very important wedding going on. So it wasn't my day. Oh, let's cross up the crossing. That's it. I'm videoing this. I was down there a minute ago in Foot Meadow. Turn it off for a minute. Don't know how you're going to survive here.
<laughs> this is the symbol of Northampton, you know, it shows that um, there's a lot of people about, it's difficult for me to talk with the video. Isn't it? There's another night round the corner. This is just one here that I videoed and I've just spotted another one. I don't know if this is supposed to be where the castle was here. I don't know. Could be. I've just spotted another knight. He's guarding over there. And there's another one over here. Look carved in wood and at the moment I don't know Chalk Lane she talked about Chalk Lane well I can see the mound now actually and here we have another night on guard duty Simon St. S is welcoming me to the town all this is worth it you know there's somebody got their loudspeaker on in the car. I think this is the um, the same information that was on the other one. It was about the Black Death and um, the Peasants' Revolt and all that. Now there's this uh, knight from the Medieval Knight. Somebody's carved this. So they even carved a little rosette on the side there. This one doesn't, he's holding his sword. He doesn't look quite as protected as the other one though. It's already had something broken off him already. So here we have another knight then. I'll just get, take some pictures I think now. Over and out.